Olivier Award winner Laura Michelle Kelly is playing Anna in the national tour of The King and I. We're here at Gibney Dance Studios in New York City to chat with the star. Laura Michelle Kelly, I'm so excited to talk to you. I'm such a big fan. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Really? We love you at Broadway.com. No, and all of not our, more all than of me. Our fans love you. So many times I come to visit your <laughs> offices with my dog. We're always happy to see you, <laughs> Coover. Well, I, I'm going to ask you about Coover. So you are playing Anna yes. in the national tour of The King and I. This is your first national tour. Why do you want to play Anna? What, what, what do you love about playing this woman? You're right, I've, I've never done a tour before and there was a reason, because it really scared me. Mm -hmm. um, the idea of not having your home comforts and things like that, like I always like, I had it from a distance, but this production is quite something else. Like the reputation that it, it has before it, um, everyone raved about it from the Lincoln Center and, mm -hmm. and if there's any King and I version that you ever want to see, I knew it had to be this one. And the fact that they offered it to me was just amazing. I would have loved to have done it here in New York, but mm -hmm. Marin Mazzi beat me to it. <laughs> I would have taken the baton from Kelly and did it all Marin. Right. Um, so when they offered it this to me, I was it wasn't so too happy. hard of a decision to say yes. Well, it, it actually really was a hard decision because the idea that you leave all the things you love from home away, like you're going to have to live out of a bucket, right. which is <laughs> not easy. And I have two buckets now. <laughs> Um, You're very, but to very have, blessed. I know, <laughs> but to live minimal and to travel to a new city, to be broken out of your comfort zone, you've got mm -hmm. all the flights and all that stuff, but it's all going to be worth it because we bring this version of the telling of the story that is unbeatable right. um, to every city. And it's a great honor. Like I, I don't take it lightly that yeah. they trusted the heart of the Lincoln Center production to me and Jose, I don't take it lightly at all. Like, it's a great honor. And I don't think some people know just how luscious of a production that is coming to them. You've I mean, got we're a 30 talking... piece orchestra. You didn't even have that on Broadway right, anymore. Right, right. And to have that, and to have the, these amazing costumes, mm -hmm. Kathy Zuber's costumes. Like, I, as soon as I tried on my very first dress, the one the I arrive dress, in, yeah. well, and V, <laughs> and I had like 11, <laughs> 11 amazing v dresses, yeah. costumes. Uh, and I thought when I when I put it on, I was like, "This is why I got into acting to to, to do stuff mm -hmm. like this, and to dance in that yeah. beautiful, and a ship. beautiful dress." There's a huge ship. There's a freaking ship in the show. <laughs> Who puts a ship on the show? Michael Jordan. Yeah. Put a ship on the show. They have like an 80 foot stage at the Lincoln Center, and they have had to put it down into proscenium, and that's and Bart's done an amazing job keeping the concept and the artwork of that they had from Lincoln Center to a proscenium. Uh, version. He's been able to rediscover some of the scenes and the blocking um, for this type mm -hmm. of stage. Uh, but everything you love about that yeah. that show is going to be so on tour the around the thing. state. They're getting the whole thing. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much it that is people fantastic. get to see this. It is. And, and it's important to me as well because having Finding Leverland that I care so much about is also on tour mm -hmm. and going ahead or behind us. Like that the weight that you carry, caring about your shows and, and the story that's being told, that's how much I feel about the honor that I have to carry this to the cities too, to give that experience to people. And now you've, you've got a good <laughs> mix in, uh, of things that you've done. Now you've done classical shows like this, but you've also originated roles and done you know, things, new musicals like Finding Neverland. I love that. Do you? Making new musicals is my favorite. I like I love ask, the work workshop process. The you, get, you get paid nothing and it's all for love. <laughs> right. And you get to change the course of this story and you, you can be a part of doing it justice. That's one of my favorite things ever. And yet, I'm really grateful that The King and I came along because it's not something you have to negotiate. Like there's beauty in all of it. There's, mm -hmm. uh, there's beauty in um, the dialogue never changing and yet you can play it a million different ways. So as we were saying, this is your first national tour. It's a big commitment. You, you really love your, your life here. I love so. my home covers. I'm gonna <laughs> have to learn to live like a monk. I'm sure that the, the tour will be hard in the traveling aspect, mm -hmm. but then in doing that, you discover new things about yourself. Yeah. And the hardest thing of all for me was leaving books behind. Mm. Like I just wanted to take my whole library of oh, books with me. I'm a big me. book nerd too. That would be very hard for me. Yeah. My, my best friend and I, she came to help me get rid of certain things to know what to pack. And I had the hardest time getting down to two buckets. 
I can imagine. I can imagine. But this what is the are, way to a life, guys, guys. You learn across, about yourself. Touring across the United States and North America is going to be so exciting. I know yeah. that you're a big um, coffee snob, so you'll get to try so coffee anywhere across the country. You, what are you stalk me. <laughs> I am a huge coffee snob. I know, snob. I know. So what are you, what, what parts of the traveling are you really looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to experiencing the new city. I, I, actually, the one thing that always crosses my mind is getting to be in a part of a brand new theater mm -hmm. and getting to know the family there because many of the theaters, they're run by an incredible group of people and you get to experience that whole uh, temporary family. Right. So I'm excited about that. You know, and this, these are people that see a lot of the shows come through and go, and I'm, I'm excited to meet the people of each theater, especially San Francisco. Mm -hmm. San Francisco is like a place that I've always wanted to go, mm -hmm. and to be a part of the theater community in each city, I'm excited for that. Right. I don't, I don't, I think this is about to, because I, I also, this year I celebrated being able to do my first concert on my own. Mm, congratulations. Which, I mean, that was yep. a big deal for yeah, me. Yeah, no, of course. Other people find that stuff easy, but I don't, so. Being able to conquer that and realizing actually I really love doing this. Yeah. Having a one woman show, I think down the road, I'm hoping that I can bring that all around the right. state. No, and you've so had, this is kind of the beginning of building relationships and seeing if there's a market sure. for that. Sure, and you've had a heck of a year and a half, two years. I mean, from everything you've done with Finding Neverland to having that concert to going on the road here, what do you do to just unplug? To just besides trying coffee and reading books, I tell you the is, truth. How do you find your your? I center? love spas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an easy. I really sell. love spas. <laughs> that's just happened recently. I've gotten into that, but um, what else? I I really what I love watching HBO and mm -hmm. Netflix and the way I completely get off the grid is I get consumed by the pure escapism of watching a TV show. Right. This is gonna take up a good amount of your time for a while, but are there now, I mean, you've been on a roll. What else What else would you like to do? Are there Are there parts that you'd like to originate? Is there a musical you would love to do on Broadway? Is what, What's next for Laura Michelle Kelly and the takeover of entertainment? I do have a dream in my heart, but I can't share it yet. Oh, it's a secret. There is one thing Can that I, I know really it and then no. just react to it. <laughs> I, I, there's a few dreams that I have, and you know sometimes it, it's not good to share it until mm. it happens. Right, leave it up to the stars. So bit. there's a couple of things I really want to do, but um, I think what's nice about this is I'm going to discover so much about myself. Mm -hmm. Broadway and theatre is like no other job. You really get to the depths and the meat of people's lives on a daily basis, and it changes you who you are right uh, and I feel like it's probably one of the most accepting and loving and unconditional loving uh, industries yeah and I think that's what I'm so proud of and I, I especially in America you celebrate on Broadway and in theater communities you celebrate each other mm -hmm. in a way that I don't know where that happens in any other industry. I don't know, yeah. And so with all of the experiences that you've had recently over the last couple of years, what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself or your hopes and dreams? What's been a big, what was an aha moment for you over the last? I think leaving Finding Neverland was really hard. Like I'm so proud of everyone and what we did but I felt so sad that the show closed on Broadway, which prematurely, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that it will come back again because it, it really did change people's lives to talk about those sub, that subject, right. the family life and the dynamic when you lose someone. Um, I felt, I feel so proud of it still and the fact that that's going out. That was a big, it was, it was hard for me to um, say goodbye. I wasn't ready mm -hmm. to that. Um, I think one of the things I learned about myself is that, well, this is, this is what we are doing. If you didn't miss it, you didn't love it that much. Right. Um, so as heartbreaking as it is to say goodbye to seeing everyone every day, and I had the same experience when I left Mary Poppins mm -hmm. to say goodbye to everyone. I was depressed for three months. You become a family. Clinically depressed yeah. for three months, saying goodbye to everyone. Because you get, it becomes your everything. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't become your everything, then you don't have the pa you don't have that passion to share with the people that come to see it. Absolutely. So you have to experience the real highs and real lows in those moments. But 
and it's the amazing ev- and the everything for you right now is the king and i, I know, so like make him. sure you come see <laughs> olivier award winner laura michelle kelly thank you leading the king and i on tour to check out more about the show visit broadway.com and to find out when it's headed to a city near you and how to get tickets check out broadway across and America. make sure you com. come and see me afterwards yes come say hi to her <laughs> thank you so much thank you <laughs>